everybody, Brandcoin here again, and today I'm so excited that we get to check out my brand new AMD RX 6800 graphics card, and uh, we're going to be checking out the performance on none other than Grand Theft Auto, Auto 5. And if you don't know me at all, uh, I have actually quite a few GPUs, uh, graphics cards, because I am also a miner. So I have very serious uh, mining farm, and we're gonna be checking out the performance of not only my RX 6800, but many of my other graphics cards on GTA 5 and some other games, as this is quite entertaining, and I love this stuff. So uh, let's check it out. So here is the beast, the animal, all unboxed. And I did this in a previous video, but I purposely left the shrink wrap for this exact moment here. And let's, let's see how satisfying this is if we can get this stuff off actually. Let's see, where are you supposed to remove it from? Maybe here to start? Oh yeah, I like that. So this is a brand new card. And I also picked up some other uh, cards from the new generation, uh, the NVIDIA 30 series. So we're gonna be checking out their performance on those as well in uh, up upcoming videos. But today we'll concentrate on this guy and I bet the performance is going to be incredible here. Uh, it's supposed to be going blow for blow with the uh, RTX 3080. So we'll see uh, if that's the case. Wow. Really satisfying to remove that plastic. And I think this is going to be all RGB. So let's go uh, install it. So this is my personal gaming computer and work computer and uh, I built it about four four and a half years ago out of completely used parts and uh, it served me very well the only thing I've updated since then is the graphics card and as you guys can see I've thrown in a MSI RX 5700 in here and we've got 16 gigabytes of RAM there and there is actually an i5 3570 CPU uh, running at 3.4 gigahertz. And you know, that actually has not bottlenecked me in any gaming so far. I am gonna be building a completely new computer uh, very shortly uh, on the channel. And that will just be uh, incredible. We, uh, see what, what changes uh, this can actually make from a budget uh, gaming PC here. And uh, I absolutely love this computer, and I can't wait to uh, install this graphics card now. So now we finally have the card installed here, as you can see. And it took a little extra time as I had to install this extra anti-sag bracket here. Otherwise, the graphic card is so heavy, it would just start sort of falling over in the case. So that's just for extra support. And uh, let's start it up for the first time. Wow, look at all those colors. Gorgeous. Look at that gorgeous LED color bar. LED here, whew, wow, and uh, let's check it out. So we are in and checking out the control panel. 
we can see in the device manager, there it is, RX 6800. Now let's check out how this is gonna perform on Grand Theft Auto V. So here we are and we are playing uh, in four, sorry, in 4K. And um, I mean, previous graphics cards could do this, but this is actually going at about 60 FPS and it does dip down to about uh, in the 50s and maybe even 40 uh, for uh, one second here or there uh, as um, the gameplay gets faster and faster. And as I go faster on this motorcycle, I mean, it's gonna dip down a little bit. It's way too small to see. It is, uh, I have it displayed in the upper left-hand corner in white, but uh, I mean, very, very difficult to see. Uh, I know when I run the benchmark, uh, I can make it appear very large, the FPS, so you can see a little bit better how this is performing in 4K. And uh, in future videos, I will also try it out in uh, 1440 and uh, 1080p as well. But I mean, really, really look how clean the gameplay is. The graphics are so smooth in 4K. It looks so realistic and incredible. Um, I'm really, really happy with this graphics card. So we work really hard here at Brandcoin and uh, doing cryptocurrency mining right now. We are mining about thirteen to fourteen thousand dollars US per month, and I'll be showing you guys uh, all the different mining locations and how this is being accomplished right now. And uh, so, I mean, we work really hard, but we also like to play really, really hard here at Brandcoin. You know, we have to have fun to sort of balance out all that hard work and make it all worthwhile. So, I mean, we're gonna be uh, testing out all the different graphics cards I have running. I have RTX 2080s, uh, GTX 1080s, of course. Um, I, as you saw, RX 5700s. Uh, I have Radeon 7s. I have a whole variety of different cards, uh, 1070s, 1070 Ti's, and then even some older cards as well. And we're gonna be playing with them all. And uh, I mean, we have to have fun with all this technology. Otherwise, what's the point, right? So here is one of the three mining locations I have going right now. And we're gonna be discussing a lot about these different locations and, and what's set up here. And here are many RX 580, eight gigabyte cards, everything you've seen so far, they're all RX 570 or 580, eight gigabyte cards, all mining Ethereum. Here's some RX 5700s, GTX 1080s as we were saying, more RX 580s, and some more RX 580s. And this is just insane, guys. Don't worry if this all seems really complicated. I'm gonna be showing everyone at home how to set this up yourself, step by step, starting from scratch with no previous knowledge required. So don't worry if crypto mining is not your thing and you're not interested in that. You could still be involved in the fun part of Brandcoin. And in my book, that's the most important part uh, at the end of the day, because if you're not having fun with what you're doing, you're not gonna to wanna to do it. And if you are having fun, it's not gonna feel like work. So as you can see here, the benchmark, we're getting about uh, 60 FPS, 59, 60 FPS in most of these um, scenes. And I mean, that's unbelievable for any graphics card, any single graphics card to achieve these numbers uh, in 4K. So uh, I'm just gonna let the rest of the benchmark play out and uh, you guys enjoy it if you wish. And thank you so much for watching Brandcoin, everyone. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed or hit that like button. We need, definitely need your support here at Brandcoin and we'll see you all soon in the next episode.